In this product update video, I'd like to discuss the progress we've been making on our spun profile algorithm as it's been released in the latest development build of Inventor HSM. Remember, any licensed user can download development builds from the downloads page on cam.autodesk.com. Spun profile is used anytime you have a turned part that contains subsequent milling operations, as is the case with the part on my screen now. I think it's best demonstrated. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new setup, define that setup as a turning setup, and set my WCS at the front of stock. We can go ahead and select OK, and then apply a profiling operation. From the library, I'm simply going to select an insert tool and produce the operation. The blue preview represents the geometry that we're passing to the kernel to calculate the toolpath. And what you may notice is this is calculated by a slice through the part along the x-axis. Let's take a better look at that by transitioning to a cross-section view. I'm going to go ahead and enable a half-section view and slice through that x-axis of my model. So clearly the toolpath is generated off of a slice through the x-axis. This is typical with most turning packages. You may even notice that at the front of the part where we have a hole going all the way through the part, we've actually chopped the model off at that point. Of course, in areas where we have flats milled subsequently, we're machining down to the level of the flat at that point in the cross section. I'm going to turn my section view back off and now run a simulation. We can clearly see that the turning operation is slicing through parts of my model. And as represented in that cross-section view, the front part of the model at the hole was completely chopped off. So now let's take a look at how we enable the spun profile functionality. To demonstrate, I'm simply going to duplicate my existing setup and edit the setup to enable spun profile. You're going to find spun profile inside the model definition of the setup. We'll simply enable spun profile and select OK. Looking at my operation, we now see a need for that to be regenerated. And if we look at the blue preview of the part, it's already been updated to contain the extents of the model as it needs to be turned. The hole has been eliminated from the end of the part. In the areas where there's milling operations, the geometry has been extended to the extents of the model that need to be turned. So we're simply going to regenerate this toolpath, and it's now based off of the spun profile geometry. Let's conclude by running a simulation. If I show the stock as transparent, you can now see that we've clearly turned the correct profile for this mill turn part. With that said, I trust you're excited with the progress we're making, and on behalf of the development team, I thank you for being a part of our campaign.